Look at what a beautiful day it is. So gorgeous. And yet it's so cold. Um, I've just had things like eight degrees outside. It is chilly. Um, I'm actually feeling so good today. Like, as with fibro, there's always some pain, but like, to me, this is like kind of almost a perfect day. <laughs> about as low as my pain level gets. So I am feeling very happy about that. Woke up feeling good. Like, well, no, I woke up in pain, but I went away pretty quick this morning. I have been up since 4.30 and it makes such a difference. If I can get up early, like, it really does take me four hours, three, a good three hours probably before I really get moving in the morning. So I, I need to get up early and then I can actually utilize the day a lot better. So as you can tell, I've had my shower, I've gotten dressed. I've even put on makeup today. Didn't need to, I just wanted to. And it's purely for myself. I just, I know I've been looking so daggy lately and my hair is pulled back so it probably looks as bad as normal anyway, but I just thought, I feel like putting them to makeup on. And I thought I'd take them off to have my jacket back off again, even though it's cold. I'm gonna get some breakfast for Mr. Coda. I know he's gone to now, I'm going for a wander off somewhere. Get his breakfast. So I'm gonna have mine. I guess I'm gonna have mine. I've got the overnight oats that I made yesterday. Have them and then hopefully might have warmed up a little bit. And I'm gonna take these guys. I'm gonna go try a park walk with the or I'll walk down the lake with the three of them. I haven't done that before. Coda's not the best at walking on the leads still, apparently. I think with the dogs he'll be a lot better. So we'll go, we'll give it a go. If we don't get very far, I just pick him and carry I can pick him and carry him back anyway. So it's not the end of the world if he's not good, but hopefully he'll be good with the other two there. And then I'm gonna go and get some, I'll probably a little rest and then I'll go get some groceries. And then I'm going up to see Athena, so. Um, yeah, but I'm just so happy. Should be feeling good. Let's just hope it continues today. Good boy. There's your breakfast. Enjoy. Who are you? Mr. Fuzz. Ooh. Okay, Mr. Fuzz. One done. Rose. Rose, come in here. Two done. Go to bear pants. What a good little puppy. What a good boy. Steady down there, you didn't get it all. And now I don't know how to put it on. What oh, daddy do? What did grandpa do? Grandpa. Grandpa mucked it up for us, didn't he? Good boy, Coda Beacons. Do you know this means fun stuff, don't you? It does. Good boy, you're the best. I'm gonna go on a family walk. Really well, Coda's just having a lovely time. <laughs> He's loving it. His first time down here. <laughs> I know the secret to getting Coda to walk. Take him with his friends. <laughs> Take him with his friends, and he's a happy papa. Well, we're back, and I probably just sweated off all my makeup. Um, <laughs> So hot. I mean, it's not hot, it's just me. Just, but, um, but, um, Coda was amazing. That's the first, like, walk, proper walk he's done, like, really. And I didn't know how far I'd get. We did the whole short walk. Um, and he just, he kept up with us, the dogs and everything the whole time. And it was a fairly frisk, frisk, fairly brisk walk. Like, I weren't, because I said, I'm feeling good today. And I have been... Even though I haven't walked for exercise, I've been doing more stuff. So I'm probably fitter than sometimes when I go for a walk. Um, so we walked at a good pace. 
and yeah he kept up and he was running it running it as far as his leg would go he loved it really loved it so that was so fun i couldn't film a lot though because i was obviously trying to manage three different leads and um but they didn't really get tangled up but once we got going Cody would sort of move all over the place i just had to move his lead around with him like he would go all, all over the place but that was fine the other two sort of they know their spots and they kind of walked in their spots that they always do and Cody just sort of moved around them but i was so happy i'm glad it went well because if it had been stressful I would have had to reconsider going again, but especially by myself. And obviously, there's no one else around to come with us at the moment, so it's really good. I'm so glad I got to take advantage of a good day when I had. I mean, I've always got the time, most nearly always got the time to take them on a walk, but I felt good and could do it. And yeah. And I still got to do the groceries, but I'm thinking I can possibly tie them with visiting Athena because I go past actually a fruit shop that I like. To anyone that's up near the hospital, like it's half an hour away, so I'm not going to go just for the fruit shop. Or maybe 25, 20 minutes, maybe. I oh, know it's a fair, no, it'd be more like 25 minutes away, probably. I'm going to cool down, I've got a drink of water. And then, I don't need to go out this morning. I think I'll try and, I've still got to do the dishwasher, still got to do the tidy up. But right now, I am going to have a rest because I feel good at what I've done. <laughs> and I need to recover. And then leave about 11.30, which is probably, what's that, just about an hour and a half. Um, an hour and a quarter. I might try to edit another vlog for you guys and get that up actually before I go. So, why well, I'm cooling down. This is just the sweetest little thing. I love how he lies and he lies on Bailey. He's so cute. Right, Cody and I are in the car ready to head off. The pool guy just left, so that was perfect timing. I think Cody's going to go back to sleep. <laughs> We're off to see his mum in the hospital. <laughs> Nakoda and I are in visiting Athena, as you can see. He's been really good. You can see he's, he's gone back to sleep now, he's tired. <laughs> he's been sweet. He's been a good boy though. Yeah. He's got a nice beautiful room. After they got used to the noise, got used to the noise. I think yeah. I mentioned that in the video, I don't know now. Yeah, he had a bad first night here and then. I don't know if that noise. Is now. I know, so much some machinery outside. Yeah. But yeah, got nice. I said I'd like that with the trees. I'd be happy in it's this room. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice. It room. looks like the kind of forest you see, it, like or the kind of bush you get in a fair, in a you know TV show or a fairy tale kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's the kind of you know this is the way it's like a wall of trees. And yeah, well, it's obviously a reserve. There's no parts. Yeah. It's not not maintained gardens. It's, like it's just cool, yeah. You know, <laughs> rather than like what a normal forest start is. Yeah. Oh, I've got to stop at the fruit shop. Such a good fruit shop. Got all the stuffs. And I've got a good little coat of bear. She's been snoozing. And I grab myself an almond milk. I have one of these down the snow. It's really good. Because I am hungry. You've been a good boy. You're precious. You're so tired. Oh my goodness. I am back home. The dog's pulled up. Oh. Right, dogs pulled apart a box of tissues. Luckily, he didn't destroy too many of the tissues. <laughs> I've just got a pile of tissues on my desk now. We know who was the leader in that one, Mr. Bailey. So, I've got some fridge and freezer stuff, I'll get them put away. And the fruit and veggies, I think I'll do when I get back with Christy because I've got to leave again in under an hour. So, I want to get some lunch. <laughs> do enjoy that almond milk on the way home. But, um, yeah, so we've got some leftover rice from last night. I'm going to heat that up with some Mexi beans, corn, kernels, and then I'll heat that up and just add some lettuce to it and my cheese sauce, and that'll be nice and easy and very yummy. I haven't to try it with an nacho cheese sauce, but there's no reason why it wouldn't go well. So that'll be nice. Probably not going to do a full-on haul because it's just, you know, fruit and vegetables. <laughs> But I did want to show you the few fridge stuff I picked up because I have a lot of stuff here I, our supermarket do not sell. So I've got like some fake beef strips and some fake veggie mints, which we can get veggie mints. But this one has a gravy sachet. I don't know quite what it's sort of um, for savoury mints. So that kind of sounds nice. Then I've got some more vegan aioli because we've down to our last jar and they sold it there. They also sold the sprout and kernel tree nut, nut tree nut cheese that we really like. That's just a classic one. 
and I've had this one before too the cashew cheese and dill I really like that I can't remember what I used that with before I think I had to put it on like um, corn things and it was really nice then I got some hummus just very much homemade hummus look chickpeas lemon tahini and salt can't get much sort of basic than that <laughs> let's make my own but I thought I don't know what I'm gonna to get to make some so I'll just buy a tub for now Jeez, it's expensive I hope it's good and then they had these roast carrot kale and chickpea burgers which I thought sounded really nice too again like really good ingredients chickpeas roast carrots sweet potatoes red lentils sunflower seeds some rice bran oil spice and kale so I thought they sounded really good too so I don't know what the use by date is 7th of July so I've got a few weeks to use them so oh, such a good fruit and vegetable shop I wish it was my local one um, but I mean it's been that was, this is the place they used to sell the Guardian products but they don't sell them anymore so anyway they had a lot more they had a big big corn range and a big um, fries range so probably why I thin this up in hospital I'll pop in again and probably stock up on a bit of stuff because I had like big packets of mints and big packets of the vegan nuggets which Kevin really likes even though I'm trying to cut down the processed food there are times when it is necessary but again these will just be kept for more the rarity than the norm so there's my lunch so as I said I've got the rice mixy beans and corn which I heated up I've got some lettuce and I just added some tomato the uh, vegan nacho cheese and then I decided I'm going to put a bit of sweet chili sauce on it as well so I have done that so that's going to be yummy and I'm really looking forward to that now okay I'm back home put the washing in made a little laundromat <laughs> there for my pants that are still yeah they're on mine actually but it's still a bit damp not quite dry yet but nearly done I'm just removing my love without words no she can still hear a little bit <laughs> Cody shows love with kisses he loves to lick in her mouth. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> leave her alone. I'm trying to leave her alone. No, I meant leave Coda alone. You're a flying puppy. He wants to give Rosie kisses. Rosie, do you want kisses? <laughs> You're a good boy. Look, look under my he slept so much today. I can't remember how much he slept. He slept all that. Wait, have we got Christian back pretty much as well? I'd say we're ready to play now. Yeah. Have fun, Rosie. <laughs> Well, no, she's getting, she getting kisses. Kisses for Rosie. Aww. There you go. Look at that. Kisses for Rosie. For Grumpy Rosie. She's not getting had to He looks right in her in, in mouth. Yeah, he does that with us too. Oh, don't let him do that. No, I try and don't let him do that. He likes sticking his head in your mouth, up your nose, and in your ears. <laughs> That's why I'm not having him sleep with me. Rosie's doing her ugly face. Rosie's doing her ugly face. So I just made pasta baked for dinner. I feel like I'm missing something, but I hope I'm not. It's just a baked pumpkin, pasta, some um, baby spinach, which I just wilted in the, in the pasta. Pasta sauce, I'm not using two jars because there's a lot of pasta. And a little bit of the bio pizza shreds on top and I'll probably put some more cheese on Kevin's piece because probably won't be enough for him we've got all these puppies here waiting for their dinner too but you have to wait and Kevin's come home with a whole lot I think all my deliveries turned up today so I'll try and well I'll try and show you what I got anyway but most of that is presents this dog and boxes he loves to chew boxes <laughs> my goodness okay I haven't got it all unpacked yet, but I'll show you what I have. So I've done the doTERRA. So last week, doTERRA had a buy one, get one free offer. So I think I bought, um, so it was buy passion and you got peace for free. And I also ordered a coconut oil with that order. And then this one, I, oh, I think it was buy easy air, get grapefruit free. My easy air is nearly finished. So got those. And then from iHerb, I've got a couple of boxes of these crackers, which I really like. Ingre look at the ingredients. If we'll focus on the ingredients. Look at those ingredients. So good. Um, so I really like them. Probably too much, but I'm going to try not to have them. Just keep them filled up with guests or whatever. And they did a new um, vegan Worcestershire sauce. Why doesn't it say vegan on it? I'm sure it is. Yes, it does say on the label, vegan. 
um, some vegan multivitamins. I got them for myself, but I think I need some too, so she might get that. I might order some more, I'm not sure. Now, I don't know why I ordered two of these blender bottles. I think I only meant to order one. <laughs> so, I have two blender bottles. Oh, okay, I was ordering that one for myself, and I think I was getting that one for Athena to do, put her milk in, because the ones we used to have, they've gone walkabouts. I don't know where they've gone. Um, yeah, I, I had like two before, and they're all gone. So, I've got two of them anyway. Yeah, I don't know. And then I've got some more of these laundry pods, which we kind of like. We have a little bit of problem with them, but most of the time they work quite well. As long as there's not too much stuff packed into the washing machine, um, they seem to work okay. I think it's the best option that we have at the moment. Yes, it's plastic, but I don't know. I like them the best. And then so I, uh, I thought I would try one of the uh, flav flavoured ones, one of the fragrance ones. So I've got Vetiva because we quite like that. Um, one of the things that friends, parents smoke whenever she goes there, whenever they go there, they come home and their clothes stink of cigarettes. So <laughs> um, that'll help get that sent out, hopefully. Okay, got another two boxes to go. Tell you, this Lush box smells so good. So some are wrapped. I think that one, that one was for Sarah. And that one was for Leanne. And then for the other two, I got like just a mixture of stuff and I'll make it up myself. I did buy myself something too. We've got a little sample in there or something. Okay, so from Lush for myself, I got um, a new um, a Buffy body butter and one of the bandana things. I call them something else. I thought it was really pretty. I think it was the coast <laughs> is having a silly in the background. Here's one I had it for Mother's Day, and I got a free sample of rum. And so from Norwex, um, that order came super fast. All these orders came super fast. I got a new toilet brush to put in the kids' bathroom because they've got an old one. And since I'm doing the cleaning, this is the type I prefer. <laughs> Whoa! That's straight through Rosie's legs. Yes, he's taken off with some plastics and it's given him the sillies. I don't know, he's doing. I call him silly. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Coda, he's gone crazy. He's got this energy now. He slept all afternoon, and so also from Norwex came. I've got a peg now. New floor mat. That's Coda's floor mat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so they're supposed to be like really good for like stopping dirt and things like that. I hope he doesn't mind lying on it because he sleeps on it and it won't slip. So I've got one to put at the front door as well. <laughs> crazy dog. Crazy pup. And I've got a, a fruit and veg cloth, another one to put in the motorhome because I think these are really brilliant. And I've got a couple more of the, I think they call them a body cloth. I'm only using for my face so you can actually clean, clean your face without any product. But of course I've still got product I'm using up but I'm one in my travel kit and one in the motorhome. And then I've already lost one somewhere so that'll also give me three for at home. And... I think, why did I get that? I think that was a, oh, I don't remember now why that, why I got that. The fresh product, fresh produce wash. I think that was a promotion, it was like five dollars instead of twenty or something like that. So there's tonight's dinner all served up. I still feel like I'm missing something. I think it'll probably chill me, I'll go, oh yeah, I'm so silly. But anyway, it's going to, it is yummy, I've already tried a bit of it. <laughs> and a really simple dinner. I mean, Athena created that one, but that's sort of more I'm trying to think of make up easy meals on my own without recipes. Which are the chat. Been good. Come back through the kitchen, done the, most of the washing up. I'm just going to do the milk bottle after it's soaked for a bit. And I've just made myself a cup of tea in my eel mug. Let's see, um, what is it? Chai. What is it? That one there, the High Living Green Tea Chai. Which is really nice. I didn't like the coconut one. Tried that, didn't like that. It's a shame because that one, other one comes in loose leaf. This one only comes in tea bags. I thought that he all in his jammies ready for bed was an appropriate mug for night time. <laughs>